Let's understand the most important difference between micro and macro economics. Micro, as you know, means small. And macro, as the word itself suggests, means large. So what is the difference between micro and macroeconomics? Let's see first microeconomics. You know, when I told you that in a the market there are buyers and sellers, and sellers, when I study each one of individual buyer and seller and how they are interacting with each other, you know, and how is that going to affect, let's say for a particular commodity, food. Suppose for food, I am studying the interaction of various buyers and various sellers and how their interaction is impacting the price of this food is something which is covered in microeconomics. So I am looking at a smaller picture from a perspective of food grains in an economy. So what do you mean by microeconomics? The study of the behavior of individual elements in the market, the impact thereof, there has to be a comma here, the impact thereof on prices and quantities of goods and services. So how are these buyers reacting? How are these sellers reacting? How are they reacting to kind of create a market wherein you are kind of dealing with several things? is something what we stand understand in microeconomics. So we study the impact of the individual elements rather than anything large. So maybe a food grain market that I look at is a smaller thing, food grains. But as I move from micro to macroeconomics, macroeconomics deals with understanding of the entire economy. So what was the total production? Now, total production include production of food grains, okay, clothes, real estate, and there is a laundry list of entire thing. So at the macro level, I deal with the total production. Whereas in the micro level, I understand with how the individual elements are affecting the price and quantity of goods in that particular segment. So understanding the entire economy, the complete economy, through aggregate measures like total output or total production as I took it here. Employment. So we frequently get this data which says that the unemployment in US is 10%. It's 12%. So we are trying to understand why is there this unemployment there? If this is the case, how can I remove it? How can I reduce it? So that is what is being analyzed as a part of macroeconomics.